Hey, Mike Kennedy. We're doing a very short uh, review of the can opener function on the Leatherman Wave. Uh, of course, opening a can by hand when we're used to having electric can openers or, uh, you know, at one time we probably all had the type of can opener, if you're old enough, that you put on the side of the can and you twist a handle and it would open the can. So, of course, a manual opener like this, can opener, is quite a bit of work to open up a can with. Now, uh, this has also got a, which we'll try later, this notch here is, uh, let's see if you can see the bevel, yeah, on this side you can see the bevel, is supposedly wire strippers too. So we'll try that. Normally, uh, wire strippers have uh, something on both sides to strip the wire, so we'll have to fool with that and see if we can get it to work. But one disadvantage of this is, you know, of course it's got to fit inside, you know, this one handle. So it, the space from here to here is, you can see, is narrow. And uh, while that's perfectly fine, or maybe even desirable for opening cans, uh, I use another multi-tool to actually help me open jars. Now with, you know, arthritis in the hands and everything, you some jars you have to kind of break the vacuum seal before you can open them. And uh, this is just too small to catch on to uh, many jar lids and, and do that part where you're not really opening it, but you're just cracking it open a bit to... Uh, you know, release that uh, vacuum that's in the jar, and then of course it makes it easier uh, to open. So, uh, just interesting to think about that. And I didn't mention, which I should have, this is one of the locking tools. In other words, once you, you know, everything on this is locking, I guess. Once you get it out, it locks, and then you could press this, uh, and that will allow you to put it back in. So uh, it locks, which means there's less chance uh, of it folding back on itself.